Honey, it's family hour. There must be something on. Oh, wow! Candy Critter! Oh! Oh, great! It's Monsters, our favorite show. Shh, it's starting. sometimes forget to breathe. He always has to wear the mask while he's sleeping. I don't think he, or you either for that matter, wants to meet your maker before it's absolutely necessary. You're not Thomas's regular doctor, are you? I'm a specialist, a heart specialist. Let me show you how to replace the mask in case it falls off. Oh, no, please, uh, don't. I'm sure it's perfectly straightforward. Why chance it is? Uh... <laughs> oh, God. Now, up, Sir Daisy. Voila. Isn't there anything you can do for him? Depends. Some diseases grow from inside where ordinary medicines don't reach. Then there's no hope. I wouldn't be here if I thought that. But the patient has to want to get better. That's where I come in. Keep a good watch. <laughs> <laughs> Fading fast. Has he asked for me? He still hasn't signed these papers for the Morrissey Shelter deal yet. We've only got till midnight, and I just know that Adler and Hartwell are dying to get their hands on this thing. Good. That's not fair. You know how your uncle and I feel about this. We have a moral obligation to go through with this deal. Moral obligation? <coughs> A moral obligation to tear down a homeless shelter <laughs> so you can build a high-rise? You're talking about putting people on the street at Christmas. Nobody gets a free ride, David. You may as well know, Jessica, I'm going to ask Uncle Thomas to put a rider to the deed, stipulating that the building remain a shelter for the homeless in perpetuity. Now, you listen to me, young man. Let's get a couple of facts straight. When your uncle dies, I'll be his heir. I'll be president of the company that employs you. I'll be the owner of the building where you currently, and I emphasize the word currently, live with your charming wife, Carmen. It's Sonia. Her name will be Hasta la Wenge if you mess up this deal. My uncle is dying. I will not let this heartless act be his last one on earth just to satisfy your greed. Get out of here. I mean, get out of my house right now. This is not your house. This is my uncle's home, and he's not dead yet. Uh -oh. What do we do? Help me! The mask! Help me! Thank you, David. You're welcome. Thomas, I need you to uh, sign Uncle these Uncle Thomas, papers. don't sign Quiet. the... Quiet! Hey. I'm dying. There's no time to take a meeting. But, Thomas, it's the Morrissey Shelter deal. You've got to... Oh, yes. Yes, the 
Option deadline. Uncle Thomas, don't sign that paper. Make buildings make money, David. The simple formula. I live my life by it. Why couldn't you ever do it? I guess I'm one of the little guys, not like you. You've made your mark in this city, Uncle Thomas. Your buildings will be here generations from now. Keep the Morrissey Building a shelter for the people who desperately need it. Leave a legacy of kindness behind you as well. Shame on you, David. Everybody's got an axe to grind, eh? Uncle Thomas, you're tired. But that's been in the back of my mind. Oh, yeah. I wonder if I should have cared more about others. When I fall asleep, It takes all my strength to, to struggle back at it. I'm afraid, David. I don't want to spend eternity there. It's never too late to change. David, write down your plan for the settlement and give me something to sign. Right away, Uncle Thomas. We'll make it permanent. You won't regret it. Jess, call Holbrook and get him down here now. I've got to change my will. Leave David and his family something and... I, I trust you, Jess, to do things according to my wishes. Oh, Jess, hold on to my hand, please. Don't let me slip away. Thomas, you're sick. You're really very sick. And you're not of sound mind. I earned that money. And I'm not going to let you take it away from me. way through the seven deadlies? Um, no, uh, this isn't what it looks like. Listen, couldn't you and I work out some sort of agreement? Wrong currency, Jessica. No. Oh. Well, what else can I offer you? <laughs> what I need from you is reformation. I beg your pardon. I want you to change, to become a good woman. Keep your hands off the Morrissey shelter. Give David his fair share of the estate. Who are you? Just somebody with an interest in your well-being. This all seems pretty strange to me. I don't know what your game is, and I don't think I want to know. But nothing happened here. And if you say it did, it's just your word against mine. Did you ever think did the thought ever cross your mind that there might be a spiritual world deeply offended by your crass pursuit of material gain? No. Change your ways, Jessica. 
or you'll be visited by spirits so awful, they'll terrify you into changing. Oh, I get it. Charles Dickens in A Christmas Carol, is that it? I wouldn't joke about it. Just choose mortal. Mortal? I'm getting out of here. Oh, so you defy them. Defy who? The spirits. Oh, oh, the spirits. Oh, right. Come on, spirits. Come and get me. Do your worst. Trust me, Jessica. They will. <laughs> By the way, David, I wanted you to look at the contractor's plans for the Morrissey. Now? Jessica, we just buried him. It's Christmas Eve. I know. I know, but deadlines are deadlines, even at times like these. Thank you, David. I look forward to your comments. Later. Jessica. <gasps> Jessica. Can't be. You're dead. You're dead and buried. God, I'm a nervous wreck. Going crazy. I don't want to go crazy. I just got all this money. I want to enjoy it. Are you there, Thomas? Is anybody there? Ah! Jessica. to talk, Jessica. No. I know why you're here. You want me to back off on the Morrissey deal, right? Well, let me ask you this. If that deal was such a good idea while you were alive, why isn't it a good idea now? That's fine, Jessica. But that's not why I came back. You stay away from me. Don't you touch me. You never used to send me away. You never used to be dead. I know why you're angry with me. Because I got David's inheritance. Well, I was your mistress, damn it! Wonderful mistress! Yes. Don't you forget that. I earned that money. How dare you come back and haunt me? Fair is fair! Fair is fair, but that is not why I came back. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Was it the weekend I spent in Bermuda with Senator O'Brien? I mean, it's not as if you and I were married or anything. That's not why I came back. Why did you come back? I came back because I love you. I know you and your heart, little soul. 
And I must say, the weekend with O'Brien does rankle a bit, but we're two of a kind, Jess, you and I. Two against the world, and we always won. I'm so lonely. <laughs> company I've got. I need my Jess. My love. No. Ah. No, sorry. Ah. no sorry. You look great to me and nobody out there will notice. Christmas cheer. Drink a toast. What did that doctor say? Said something about reform. Reform, or you will be visited by spirits who will terrify you into reformation. Who will. 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 That's the future. That's the future. There's still time. My love, it's too late for that. you to open a new account in the name of David Beckman and then transfer 60. No, 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 wait, wait. Transfer 70% of my shares in Beckman development into that new account. Yes, yes, I know what I'm doing. Please just do it. Please. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Are you happy, Jess? Oh, sure. Sure, I'm happy. Thomas, have you signed David's rider? Yes. And I feel like a new man. Oh, I... You're going to be fine. What happened? You got scared into reforming. Reforming? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I remember. And Thomas, he magically got better. Miraculously. And I lost $19.7 million, not to mention controlling interest in Beckman Developments. Wasn't it worth it? Well, Your choice. What do you say, Jesse? Um. Merry Christmas. Try never to forget. 
And a very merry Christmas to you. <laughs> I want you to share.